Hey everyone, it's 1194 video. Uh, today what I'm going to be showing you is something I've ordered for a car that I've actually purchased here pretty uh, pretty recently. This is the JDM uh, one and a half inch lowering springs. And as you see this right here, this will be the front because you've got a, a full top, a full bottom, both the same size all the way down. And on the rears, you've got a full bottom and the top starts to squeeze down on these cars. Now this kit here, this kit I paid $78 on eBay for it. Uh, it's supposed to be an inch and a half drop. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna do an install of these springs on the car, and then we're gonna measure it, do a before, and then we'll do an after. All right, now these cars, they sit high enough to make, uh, make an SUV look bad from the factory. Um, I've got some 19 inch ESRs on here right now, which they're not gonna stay on there. But, right now, you can look right there, we're sitting right at 20, well, right at 29 inches. So, that'll be the, the back, 29 inches. Alright, this will be the front, same set of wheels, 19 inch. You can see right there, 28 and a half. So it's a half inch higher in the rear than it is the front. We'll go ahead and do the install and we'll see where it's at with the same wheels after it's finished. All right, doing this job, all it's gonna take on the front, you're gonna have your 15 millimeter. It'll also fit the strut bolts on the top and your 12 millimeter wrench to take out the caliper bolts. And then on this top piece right here, your ABS, they will just simply slide out and then slide up take that off so that you get more leverage whenever you lower your front end i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take that off take my caliper off and loosen my front take your strut loose and when i do that i'm gonna have a jack on the bottom of this right here to hold it up when i take the pressure off in bolts and then slowly lower the jack and it's all this system right here is going to come down just enough go ahead and pull your you don't want to take these loose so they don't pull on your ABS and your, your brake right here. Uh, might be a good idea. You're going to go ahead and take these bolts right here out on your caliper. Pull your caliper off so that you don't have to worry about your brake line right here. When you're doing this, taking the caliper off, right now is probably the best idea. Go ahead and change out those brakes if they need to be changed out. But in this, this car's case, well, the brakes are good in the front. That's one thing that I'm not gonna have to do on this car. But our caliper's loose. I can go ahead and pull the caliper off. It's been sitting for a while. And then once we get the caliper off, go ahead and I'm gonna get up on top and get them uh, strut bolts loose. All right, now you just wanna jack up to take the tension off on the top of the strut. Then you can take that last strut bolt loose. And then once that's done, you can lower your jack slowly, let the pressure off the spring. All right, pull it out out of the way. Got all the pressure off my jack. Now, you see the spring here. Grab it. It's been in there for a long time, so it's tight. Move that out of the way. And you can grab it and just pull it out of there. There it is. As you can tell, this car, it's had a, a little bit of off-road action in its day so i'm gonna clean that out i'm gonna get some black spray paint i'm gonna paint these right here black and then uh, i'll start the video back with the new springs cleaning these up right now would be the best time to do it so you don't get paint all over your springs i'm just using a red scotch sprite and you can just easily sorry there go over it and as you see it made it real nice and shiny we'll do the same on all the inner So that your paint will be able to stick to your well whatever you're going to shoot with some paint but 
using a red scotch brite, you can easily clean that up and put some paint on it. All right, I've got everything under here. It's all been painted. It all looks a whole lot better shot in black. But that's one thing you can do to your car to really make it add some more appearance to the bottom, make it look clean. Any rust in the bottom, go ahead and get that straightened out, and get it some more paint put on that so that it doesn't have any more future problems with rust. And now I can go ahead and start putting the spring. Right here is my spring. Another thing people don't normally do on the top, they don't think about it, but this factory boot helps keep noise levels down on your spring. And I want to put that right there back on top. You're putting your spring in. You also want to make sure this right here on the bottom, you want to put that exactly in the same location that it was on the factory. All right, spin it into place. All right, the spring is in place. Now I'm just gonna get my strut, put my strut where my strut needs to be. I'm gonna put my block underneath it, my jack, and then I'm gonna start jacking it right back up and getting it where it needs to be. Okay, now that my spring is in, I can go ahead and get my caliper put back on, get my sway bar link put back on. And I can go ahead and tighten these four bo or three bolts up, and then that right there pretty much concludes the front. It's, it literally, it doesn't take maybe two minutes if you've already got the tools you need, the 12 millimeter bolts for the brakes, the 15 for the top of the strut, and the sway bar link, and that's all it takes to do this. It's easy to do it in the driveway. I'm gonna go ahead, finish with the other side, and then we'll get started on the back. Okay guys, with the back, it's even more simpler than the front. Right up here, this little strut brace, this bolt, you're gonna be taking it out 18 millimeter and then down right here on the shock. It's also 18 millimeter right here. <coughs> down on the ground, you see, I've got my jack and a board supporting my car. I've got a lift, but it's just as easy on the ground using jack stands and a jack. But I've got my board supporting my rear end. You wanna put, raise the weight up off the rear end and then you can go ahead, take that loose Take the upper one loose, let down your pressure on your jack, and then that's gonna allow your rear end to come down enough that you can get your spring out. Way simpler than the front. Either way, they're both very, very simple to do, and it don't take long at all. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull in, pull this one out, pull this one out. Just to make a note, rather than taking this bolt off, I went ahead and took the two off on the top here. They were both 15 millimeter, and just let the whole thing hang down. It's a whole lot easier. And then now, let the pressure off your jack. Allow your rear end to come down. Right. I've let the pressure out on my jack. And I can just put me a pry bar in on the bottom of the spring, pull down on the rear end, and just pull the spring out away from the rear end. And there's your spring. Out with the old, in with the new. But before that, just like the front, right now is a good time to get a scotch bright and go ahead and scotch bright up everything on your rear end and go ahead and paint it, make it look real nice and pretty before you put your new uh, spring back in. Okay, everything is painted real nice and pretty black. And right here's the springs. You can see right there, the JDM Sport. These are the JDM Sport springs that you find on eBay. And this rubber piece right here, that you do need to put it back in. Go ahead and put my spring in. That way my spring sits in the bottom. If it's sitting in the top, I can go ahead and jack my rear end up, put pressure on the spring, go ahead and get my shock put back on, get my rear link put back on. <coughs> so, I'm going to make sure I line the rear end, the rear spring, when I mean line it up, I mean that piece right there. With this back in the same location, I wanna put this in the same location as the stock spring. So I'm gonna do that now. 
which it's facing the rear. I'm gonna pull down the rear end and get my spring set into place. Which seems harder than it looks. Which it's not. Get my little pry bar here. Now my spring's in place here, which you can see. Make sure that it's rotated in the right angle right here is the stock ones. Go ahead, I'm gonna jack my rear end up. I'm gonna put my shock back in. Right here on the bottom, put that bolt in. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this back up. And then we're gonna put some wheels on this car. And then we'll see exactly how much lower we got with these JDM sports springs. Well, the car's back on the ground. I've not driven the car yet. I know that they, they claim that it will drop a little bit more after driving. I'm gonna go ahead just to do a quick. Alrighty, Let's see where we're at. I'm at 27 and a quarter. It's exactly where it is, 27 and a quarter. So, let me loosen up my camera angle here so let you see that. 27 and a quarter so after i drive it we'll see if it gets any lower okay granted this car hadn't been driven yet but the front did get lower but looking at the back it's sitting it's showing 29 inches so i'm going to take it down the road see if it drops more but if not this right here is definitely not an inch and a half drop in the back as of right now so take it down the road hopefully that'll change and we'll see what it does. Okay, well I took it down the road, brought it back, put it in the shop. Uh, I noticed that the back is still a little bit high. Uh, it's not an inch and a half like it should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm, I'm satisfied with the fronts, but the rears, I'm not quite satisfied. So I'm gonna contact the company and see if maybe they ship me the wrong rears. Uh, if so, um, I'll get them put on and, and level it out like it should be. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to update some more videos when I get some exhaust and some more things put on the car. But I appreciate you for watching.